hot does this guy here so full progressive with FNN Feminist News Network that Feminist News that's right for you. Welcome to Sky in the Pagoda Room, giving you that soulful news you need. Honey, it's time to listen indeed. Now, if you haven't told a friend to like and subscribe and get that soulful news that soulful way, well, honey, it's time to sign up and subscribe today. I know that's right. Get us to a thousand and we'll go live. Take those phone calls. Uh huh. Now, what is it I want to talk to you about today? What is really going on with the struggle that's going all around the nation with the solidarity with Gaza, Sudan, and Haiti, and also with those that are in America, ADOS, suffering every day to the hands of a militarized police force. There is a young black female feminist out of London with the revolutionary communist party in London and her name is Fiona Lali and she told a old uh, British minister Beaverman who is racist to her heart even though she is Indian by coming down hard on pro-Palestine protesters, which made her lose her job in the first place. Now, on GB in London, Fiona gave it to a good. So let's take a look and then discuss. All right. I'll completely ignore the issue about what's happening not, in Israel. Yeah, and let's Gaza. talk about it seriously. Let's, let's talk about what the Israeli questions. state has done for the last 76 years. So would you say not that Israel has a right to defend has, itself? Israel does not have the right to do what it is doing right now, which is a genocide, which is the right. criminal enslavement and trapping people in certain places and then saying you've got to move somewhere else. The ongoing invasion of Rafa that has been so, spoken about today, the displacement of millions of people, of course they don't have the right to do that. And no one thinks they do. Right. And you posing those questions is exactly what makes students in Cambridge think, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to any war criminal. I want to grow this encampment. I want to grow a movement. Well, it's quite, it's quite a strong stuff. I mean, it's, it's war criminal. Yeah, I mean, so... Yeah, you are a war criminal. The reason I went on is because when you watch the news in the UK, BBC News, Sky News, it's like being gaslit on a monumental scale. And I felt like it was important to go on there to say the truth of what is happening and expose these people for what they are. They're getting away with murder. Um, and, and that's why it was important to, to do that and for someone to just say what everyone is thinking and feeling already because people are so angry when they come out here with these lies. That's what they're saying in the encampments. That's what they're saying at the protests. And it was necessary to just cut through the hypocrisy that is constantly spewed out by all of these politicians. What is your exchange with Suella Braverman, also for a bit of context? I mean, this is a, a former minister who was fired precisely for her handling of these uh, pro-Palestinian uh, or Palestinian solidarity marches. What does that exchange say about the difference in opinions between the public and politicians when it comes to Gaza? I would say it's a demonstration of the fact that these people are completely out of touch with the real mood in society. Palestine has become a lightning rod for all of the accumulated anger that young people and workers have towards the establishment. And it's becoming so apparent to people that this is no longer a question of just individual politicians, although Suella Braverman is a particularly hateful one um, that a lot of people have a lot of strong feelings towards. But it's about what they represent, which is a whole system, uh, the capitalist system, which is putting profit above everything else. And, and I think what's significant is that it's an international feeling as well. The main feature of politics today is people hating their own establishment. And, and that's why the Revolution Communist Party is, is organised actually internationally and is, is trying to 
sections all over the world for people to channel that anger um, actually into a revolutionary communist international, which we're launching in June, on the 10th of June, is that these encampments are just a, a flashpoint, the spark of what could become a much bigger mass movement. I think to take down war criminals or any government um, enacting war crimes or facilitating those, we need to mobilise students, yes, but ultimately workers. And I think workers should be um, go on strike. We should look at all of the industries that are taking part, facilitating, investing in the Israeli state, in the IDF, in any form. And workers have the power to stop that. We can stop the transport of, of money, of, of weapons, and also political support to Israel. And I, thought, I think it's important that we get that message out there. We have the power to do something to stop our government. And that's my main enemy. The main enemy for me is, 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 Brit is Britain and, and the British state, I should say. And the main enemy for American students, for example, is, is clearly Biden. And, and that's what's significant about this. And it, and it can happen if we grow the encampments and get the workers in, involved. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And I know that's right. Fiona lit that thing up and told the truth and was making people like Claire Daly proud, I'm quite sure, because she told it like a T.I. is when it comes to who and what the establishment uh, electoral people are in London, and not just there, but around the world. What are they? War criminals. Mm -hmm. They are definitely war criminals. And she was right about doubling down on it because it needed to be said. I, I I just laid back and just watched it and I was like, mm, girl, go. And more Fionas need to be out there saying it too. Now, in America, they're not going to even give them the chance or the how to get in front of somebody like Blinken or anybody else that's double-talking and, and jibber-jabbering over things they don't mean, say, and all they about is getting paid. You see what I'm talking about? I know you do. I know you do because your wallet's aching and your back is hurting and you keep on working and all the while they are just jerking us around. Not doing what they need to do with our tax dollars, giving it away. Killing whistleblowers when they know they taking our money to build those planes. And upset because they got a union doing it. Because that means equal people, equal pay. Uh, uh, uh. The solidarity with Gaza is strong. What Fiona's saying is most definitely right. And those are warmongers out there. That's what they are. Or Gaza wouldn't be looking like it. Does. Sudan wouldn't have 9 million people displaced. Haiti wouldn't be on fire. And our borders wouldn't be the way they were either. And I know you agree. I know you agree. With so many dead due to colonialism, I know you're going to let me know and leave those comments below at feministnewsin at gmail.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and the Facebook page. And remember, I'm that soulful progressive one on Twitter. Get that rant of the day on blogger. And I really don't go on all of those. But if you care to give me a cup of coffee, help and work on this production and let's do it up so we can get to a thousand and go live. That's Venmo at Sky so full progressive mahalo and thanks in advance and i really appreciate you joining the news crew and that's for real though yeah now remember during this era of hate we're gonna all have to participate so we can stop genocide and killings judicially non-judicially 
but colonially all over this place. Thanks for it. Thanks for coming.